thing. Every, every, and I'm not joking. Every single time I fast, something happens. Nothing stays the same. Every time I fast, mountains move. Giants are destroyed. Doors start opening. Chains are broken. Does my voice sound raspy? I heard a little bit of a eh there. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. We are on the road to 3K. So good people, let's get it going. Let's go. Okay, so before I get into this video, I just want to say that I already mentioned in my previous video, my ring light is busted and so I am relying on natural light to film my videos and unfortunately the Sun just keeps coming and going every time I want to record the Sun seems to go away so the Sun keeps coming and going and if the light changes throughout the video I beg you just forgive me for that I'm really sorry but the video is what you need to see the video is gonna just fire you up you get me this is the sign that you've been waiting for right here so stay tuned and bear with the light today I am doing a video about fasting because let me tell you something guys fasting has 100% changed my life my life has not been the same ever since I started fasting so before we get too far let me clarify I'm not fasting for diet purposes or to lose weight or anything but I mean I mean if it happens it happens you know what I mean but I am doing this for spiritual purposes let me say with my tongue as I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and he died on the cross of Calvary for the remission of all sin that we will not die but we shall have eternal life thank you Jesus thank Thank you Lord in Jesus name I pray amen listen Jesus himself fasted when he was here on earth he fasted and I always say that if Jesus who is our example of how we ought to be on this earth fasted then why on earth are you not fasting fasting is very important there are certain miracles that you will not experience in this life unless you fast there's a certain anointing in this life that you are not going to tap into unless you fast there's an intimacy that you can get through fasting there are bonds and chains and cages that will not be broken until you fast and that's in the Bible that certain spirits and certain things cannot be cast out just by praying but they need a prayer and fasting in this video I'm going to talk about fasting the power of fasting reasons for fasting types of fast tips for fasting and my own personal experience with fasting so let me start off with my own personal experience guys my pastor always preached right he would always say that God is gonna do a miracle for you something that when it happens you know that only God could have done this and all of us in church would be like Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. praise the Lord praise master Jesus you know we're like yes we receive in Jesus name amen but something that you don't realize is that when you're in a situation where only God can help you babes you're in trouble <laughs> you're in trouble that means you're going through a lot that means you've tried your connections you've asked everyone you can help you've done what you can do you've cried you've you've screamed you've gone to meetings you've asked different people for help but nothing happened and thus you need God to do what only God could have done for you and that is something that I experienced in my life so as some of you may know I'm currently studying in America and I am South African but guys the road to get here was by no means easy let me tell you something I was supposed to go to school by August 15th and my visa it was not happening it was not working guys for no reason under the Sun my visa was just not being released I tried to call there were no answers when I did answer they would tell me things to do those things would lead to a dead end my parents did everything they could they reached out to all their contacts all their connections all their network every single person that we knew we tried to reach out to them people with connections people who have connections that go far and wide people who are the very connection that you need we reached out to so many people and at the end of the day nothing and no one could help us it honestly looked like I was not going to make it to school that semester and so I decided that you know what 
I am going to petition to God. I am going to reach out to God because I need him to do what only he can do. And so I went into a fast. I believe I did 21 days of fasting and I did it by myself. It wasn't with the church. And that's another thing for those of you who only want to wait when the church calls a fast for you to fast, I beg, rebuke that spirit. You need to be able to call a fast on your own. You need to be able to look at your life and say, I need to fast. You must look at your situation and say, I need to fast. Anyway, as I digress and I decided that, you know what, I'm going to fast. I literally locked myself up in my room and I played gospel music and I was, it was just me and God. And I cried and I prayed and I slept and I woke up and I read the Bible and I told God that I need you to do what only you can do. I need you to do a miracle. Father God, you said that when you say yes, no one can say no. Who is he that speaks and it comes to pass when you have not come it. Lord, you said I should hold my peace and you will fight for me. Father God, open the way for me. At the end of this fast, not only was my visa released and I was finally able to go to America to start my schooling, but many other miracles came as a result of me fasting. I have learned something every, every, I'm not joking, every single time I fast, something happens. Nothing stays the same. Every time I fast, mountains move, giants are destroyed, doors start opening, chains are broken. Every single time my fast miracles move into my life and that is the power of fasting you know at the beginning of the year a lot of churches like fast for 21 days to bring into the year and stuff this year I was doing my 21 days of fasting I said God this is my 21 days of fasting I'm turning 21 this year I'm gonna need you to give me 21 miracles and I actually have a little book where I'm writing down all the things that are happening as soon as I made that prayer guys things started happening. I started receiving favor that I didn't understand. Opportunities that I could never have planned started finding me. My name was in rooms that I never thought my name would ever be. Me, a regular person, a regular person. God put me in rooms with people who are way bigger than myself. And that is the power of prayer and fasting. Let me tell you guys a bit more about what fasting is. Fasting is when you discipline your body. Fasting is when you bring your body into submission. That is what fasting is. And how do you do that? By sacrificing something for God. So the most common types of fasting is the fasting of food. And even within the fasting of food, there's different types of fasting. I'm going to include a link in my description where you can read up about the different types of fasting that you find in the Bible. But anyway, most of the time fasting is through food. And basically you say from six to six, I'm not going to eat food. And in that time, you need to make sure that you are praying, 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 reading your Bible, watching, preaching. It's basically your intimate time with God. And in this time, you pray to God and you tell him what you want. In regards to the times of fasting, normally I do six to six. That's sort of the standard time, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. But you can do anything from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., 6 a.m. to 1 p.m., 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And also with fasting, there's something called dry fasting or liquid fasting. So dry fasting is where if let's say you're fasting from six to six, you say, I'm not not going to drink any water I'm not gonna eat I'm not gonna drink water nothing I'm just gonna go for it there's also liquid fasting in which you say okay I'm not gonna eat from 6 to 6 but I'm gonna drink water I normally do a liquid fast I normally do 6 to 6 and I drink water in between then I don't drink juices I don't drink like anything with like taste or anything I don't do that so in a nutshell that's pretty much what fasting is but it is not limited to food you can also fast of other things you can fast from music you can fast from TV you can fast from your phone you can fast from social media you can fast from anything that you feel like you are starting to idolize as well so yeah basically fasting is not just food it's anything that you feel that you need to give up I just want to go into some of the reasons for fasting as well reason number one and these are in no particular order by the way but reason number one fasting is a great way to get intimacy with God you are dedicating your mind your soul your body your spirit to God the Bible says that indeed the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak and fasting is saying I'm going to make my flesh submit and I'm going to allow my spirit to thrive and allow myself to tune into what God has been trying to tell me life in general is very loud life is very loud what do I mean by that we have work we have school we have families we have kids we have you know all sorts of things all of this becomes so loud that we miss the voice of God sometimes so fasting really just tells your mind and tells your body Shh, God is talking the spirit is the focus now. The spirit is focused on God. The spirit knows who it belongs to. And it says, shh, 
God is talking. The next reason for fasting is repentance. You can pray to seek repentance from God. You see quite a few verses in the Bible where God tells his people, come to me with prayer and fasting, with mourning and weeping, and return to me. Confess your sins and I will forgive you. And let me tell you something, guys, when God forgives you, not only does he forgive you and restore you, but he even blesses you. He even adds to what you had before. Fasting is good for when you want to repent, confess your sins, and you want God to do a new thing within you. So those of you who feel like you're really far away from God, who feel like sin has taken over your life, listen, man, it's time to put away the McDonald's, the burgers, the beefs, and it's time for you to get down on your knees, start praying, and start fasting. Another reason for fasting can be grief. I've decided to fast because, like I said, I've been feeling very anxious and very, uh, you know, sad sometimes and stuff like that. So fasting is good when you are going through grief. And not only grief in the sense that I've just described it of, you know, I've been feeling sad, but also like a time of mourning, a time of just sadness or being overwhelmed or someone has died and stuff like that. So you know when the spirit of death comes along, it tries to grab every single person that it can before it gets cast away you can start fasting and cast away that spirit immediately or when you see a pattern of ah man people are dying people are dying left right and center around me it's time for you to fast and kick that spirit out before it kicks you out of your life fasting is also great when you are going into a new journey and you need God to protect this journey to bless this journey to go before you in this journey to be behind you in front of you beside you within you I feel like at this point I'm just quoting the blessing by elevation worship but fasting is great when you are going into a new journey and you just want God to like you know God clear the path for me you know when God puts you somewhere no one can remove you pray for the place where God has put you that no one will remove you that anyone who wants to remove you from there will be removed themselves that every projection that people are projecting will instead fall back upon their head when you're going upon a new journey personally every time I start a new semester I always fast so there are two semesters every year it's spring and in the fall and and at the beginning of every semester, I always, always fast because it's my new journey that I'm going into. I pray for what I'm going to be doing. I commit my life into his hands, my studies into his hands. And anyone who's a student, I would definitely recommend that you do that as well. When you are entering into a new semester, pray about it. Another good reason for fasting is that it strengthens prayer and it is used for petition. So you know sometimes there are things going on and you're like, man, I've been praying about this for a while. I've been praying about this for a while. Well then, honey, baby, love my sweetie. Fast about it. Fasting strengthens prayer. There are some things that, again, you know, I said in the beginning that there's an anointing you're not going to reach. There's a level you're not going to reach. There's a blessing you're not going to tap into until you have fasted. Fasting does help to strengthen prayer and forms as a petition for God. Another reason for fasting that I mentioned earlier as well is for God to fight your battle and cast out things from your life that should not be there or that have been there for too long. So in the Bible, the disciples tried to cast out a spirit and they were praying and they were like, Demon, in the name of Jesus, I cast you out. Leave, go back from whence you came. And nothing worked. They were praying, they were praying, they were praying. It wasn't working. And then Jesus came and he said, Out. And the spirit was like, ah! And it ran away. And they asked him, they were like, Um, we know you're Jesus, but Lord, you gave us power. You said we pray for the sick and the sick shall be healed, that we should cast out things. But Lord, we did that and it didn't work. How come it didn't work? And Jesus said, because there are certain spirits that can only be cast out through prayer and fasting. Guys, it's in the Bible. It's not my words. It's not me. It's in the Bible. There are certain things in your life that will persist until you say enough is enough and start fasting. The next point is very much related to the previous point. Fasting is to break chains and for liberation and to open cages that were holding you. Fasting is for freedom and liberation. When you feel like you are bound by a situation, bound by sin, like this thing, man, it's holding you, it's holding you, it's holding you. When you want freedom in your life, freedom in your home, in your marriage, in your academics, in your workplace, when you need freedom, you can fast because prayer and fasting can break yokes and chains and cages that regular praying could not break. So start that fast and invite the Spirit of the Lord into your life. And guess what? Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 
and that's on Bible. Those are just a few reasons for why it is important for you to fast. I've given my personal testimony, I've given reasons with biblical backup. At this point, you have to make the decision for you and you have to learn to do it for yourself. I am a firm believer that you need to know and understand why you do the things you do. Don't just do things because my mom said so, or my dad said so, or my pastor said so, and not because they're lying to you, but because you need to have understanding for yourself. So open your Bible, look into it, and find understanding. Ask God for understanding. You have to learn to do things for yourself. You have to learn to pray for yourself because God says, ask and you shall receive. He said, ask me and I will answer your prayers. Yes, if your mom prays for you, your pastor prays for you, your husband prays for you, yes, God is gonna hear them, but you need to learn to pray for yourself. So I just wanna end off this video with a few tips for fasting. I'm not gonna give too many because it's a bit long now, um, but I would definitely recommend having a playlist or go to worship music to listen to throughout the day so it can keep you energized, get you into the spirit. Also, worship is a form of prayer. And also there are some people who maybe you live around other people and you don't want your prayers to be heard so play some worship music and say your prayers I would also recommend definitely watching some preaching as well this is super easy go on YouTube type in whoever you like to watch and watch some videos I've inserted a link below to Miles Monroe's video where he talks about the importance of fasting and prayer the next thing is definitely stay in consistent prayer when you start to feel hungry as you're fasting pray when you start to feel tired pray just always try to be in constant prayer and prayer does not have to be an hour long every single time it can literally be a spirit of the living God come into my life come into this place speak to me Lord as I'm doing this fast have your way in my life let your will be done not my will but yours in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen the next thing is mind what you expose yourself to during fasting fasting is a very sensitive time so mind what you are exposing yourself to places you are taking yourself to be very spiritually sensitive also understand that when you are fasting it is a way of fighting a battle you know there are certain spirits that can't be cast out except through prayer and fasting well do you think those spirits want to leave no they don't they don't want to leave they're comfortable with you they want to ruin your life it's not here they have a mission to complete and if they get cast out without completing their mission they have hell to pay so understand that prayer is actually a battle and it's going to get challenging some people when they are fasting suddenly even more bad news starts to happen or bad things weren't even happening but when they start praying bad things start to happen keep praying keep fasting the devil is trying to discourage you he's trying to make you stop fasting don't do it don't fall for it keep praying keep praying keep praying you're gonna get hungry you're gonna get tired you're gonna get challenges some people even start to have bad dreams while they're fasting pray about it cancel it a battle is being fought and let me tell you something there's none who can fight with God and win the battle. Who can battle with the Lord and win? Jehovah has the final say. He's already won the battle. When two powers meet, the lesser power always has to bow down. And greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. So if you haven't fasted before, this is definitely the sign for you to start fasting now. If something is going on in your life, this is the sign for you to start fasting now. There's a reason why you're clicking to this video. There's a reason why you're watching this. And that's because God is talking to you. You. And now the question is, will you respond? Will you answer the call? That's up to you. If there are any faith related videos that you would like to see or that you want me to talk about, then comment down below. Comment down below your experience with fasting. Have you done it before? Have you not? Are you considering it now? That's it for today, guys. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos.